Good afternoon, ma'am. Okay, last time, we talked about ideal gases. And now, we will talk about the real gases. Real gas is a type of gas wherein it is a very different thing from ideal gas since it has interaction between the gas molecules. Likewise, real gas is also known as non-ideal gas because because the behavior of real gas is only approximated in ideal gas law. So, unlike ideal gas, real gas are subjected to five types. First, the non-equilibrium thermodynamic effects. Second, vari variable specific capacity. Third, compressibility factor. Fourth, Van der Waals forces. And the last is variable composition including molecular disassociation and other chemical reactions. Those aforementioned types of properties will be discussed furtherly as the report. reporting goes on. So let's talk about compressibility factor. So compressibility factor represented by the variable Z. It is useful in the ther thermodynamics properly for modifying the ideal gas law to account the behavior of the real gas. So it is a measure of how much the thermodynamic properties of real gases deviate from those gas. expected of an ideal gas. gas. And there are three regimes that affect the compressibility factor, which are the following. The first is the value of C tends toward 1 as the gas pressure approaches to 0, where all gases tend toward, toward ideal behavior. The second is the value of C is less than Because the intermolecular, intermolecular forces of attraction cause the actual volumes to be less than the ideal gas. values. And the last is the value of Z is greater than 1 and ultimately tends toward infinity at high pressures because the intermolecular repulsive forces cause the actual volumes to be greater than the ideal gases. So, masabdadra ang duloka regimes that affect the compressibility factor. So, real gas is behave in ways that differ from the relationship described in the ideal gas law. So, the gas compressibility factor as the ratio of the molar volume of the gas compared to the molar volume of the ideal gas at the same conditions. So the equations of compressibility factor in real gas is C equals PV over an RT. RT. Pressure volume. C is the compressibility factor. The P is the pressure. Pressure. P the is volume. volume. N is the number, number of, of moles. moles. And, and the gas the constant. Constant. Yes, the ideal gas and the temperature. The temperature. So sometimes real gas not follow ideal gas equation exactly at all temperature and pressure. The real gas are those gases that uh, is the uh, the real gas is the hydrogen, helium, and oxygen, oxygen and carbon. Gases. Carbon. Yes. So real gas deviate from ideal gas behavior. I will magpakit mag drawing ko the diagram na magshow sa kanang kanang dip ng real gas and the dip different from ideal gas. Which 
the pressure and the volume. So, this is the pressure and volume. So, Ideal or real? Ay, ideal. Ideal gas. Uh, And sa baba mas real gas. Makita na ang kalihian ng duha. Mas kuan ng real? Real gas. Real gas. So Now, as what I said earlier that the ideal gas doesn't have any volume occupied. So, as this uh, piston try to compress the gas within the system, this molecule cell will, will be dispersed. So it will yes. be, um, like I said, will be gone in this, inside the system. Well, no, so however, in the real gas, if this piston will compress the molecules, there will be a gap of distance between the base of the, what we call the piston, and the, and the compressor here. So as we try to push it, so there will be a gap of distance. So 
the pressure being exerted by the person who tries to push the molecules doesn't equate or doesn't being uh, op doesn't like obtain the equivalent of the volume occupied by the molecules well, since the molecules do occupy some volumes. So another way to prove that real gas is non-equilibrium is that through this graph. Now, as we try to increase the pressure of the gas, so there will be an so there will be uh, so the real gas doesn't uh, follow the lines being created by the ideal gas. So yes. let's just say let's just follow this line. So ideal gas is also called as perfect gas. So if we try to refer this line by the real gas, as we try to give some pressure, there will be the line being uh, C in this graph will not follow the line being used by the gas. In, in higher pressure, there will be uh, intermolecular forces Forces being occur in the molecular and yeah. the mass of molecules So, as what I said earlier, so likewise in temperature, there will be uh, intermolecular forces also happen during the during the, during the interactions of mass within the system, which prove that non-equilibrium non effect do occur in real gas rather than the ideal gas. gas. Uh, ideal gas straight line. And now, let's talk about the specific heat capacities. From the definition itself, Heat capacity of a body is the quantity of heat required to raise its temperature by one degree. And the specific heat capacity of a substance is the quantity of heat required to raise the temperature of unit mass by one degree. Since every compound or every substance has its own specific capacity. Yes. So let's have the derivation of the formula. Yes, piston. Then we have the heat applied to the piston. This is the heat applied to the piston. The heat for the gas molecules. Since we know that the heat is Q is equal to the mass, mass of the heat over the te temperature. Since we will Delta T. So, in this scenario, wala well, well, in the upper the system, only the heat added to the system. Sure, sure. Go down in formula term. Q over M delta T. Oh, Lagi ang heat lagi. How about ang heat chart? Heat. Ang Q is equal over. Q over M delta T. Then mana siya? So let's have the specific capacity in terms of volume. Since ang heat we are to be applied na na. So the molecules will move faster. Oh, increases in So, C is equal to Q minus square over delta T. Since wala man kailangan di add sa system na to, only the hatra, so work is equal to zero. So, C is equal to volume over 
P and or number of moles then K is denoted as, as Kelvin joke. Delta P. Okay, then. Correct, sure. Sure. So, ang answer ana P V equal to three over two times number of moles. K. K is constant. K is constant. If magkuanta sa magkua, pahaw ni mo ang number of moles. Ang specific heat to niya is disregard ni mo ang number of moles. So over and in siya, na cancel na siya sa formula is P over two. This is just for the monoatomic molecules. Then let's have the pressure. No, 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 no. Ako ni. Jana, Jana. Yeah. Ako ni. Ako ni. Erase ng kanina. Erase the line. Manamu take a picture, guys. Kusuwa. Yeah. Picture yun na niya.
interact except when they collide. Shut up. Mono means one, ma'am. Dai is... Triatic. Katulo na atik. Triatic. Triatomic. Katulo. Ito bagay. Three two five two seven two five two seven. The next slide is to see the names. Tables, standards, values. Maya, sir. Yes. Asa niya mag a? Mane niya siyang specific heat? The elements. Yes. Sa helium, argon. So kani sila nga. Value, bigo na siya deh ha, apa kau ha? Ah, okay, sir. Derivation rana. Ah, okay. Okay, let's have the bonder. Okay, let's. Kita kena ikut. Bye. You want to go to so another that we consider in real gases is what we call the van der Waals forces. So we know ma, real gases don't have intermolecular attractions and yes. when I boil them, yes, no boil. Action. So, an usa ka band ani niya nga na present sa intermolecular attraction is what we call the Van der Waals forces. So, usa ka sabot ang sa Van der Waals and Van der Waals forces. So, it is a sa atong sa atong mga mga atong. Then, ang mga electron derivation na kung siyempre ang electron. Weak attraction. Then, weak weak attractions ang present sa Van der Waals forces. Meaning ko. Sometimes sa siya ka dahil ka siya makuhan, temporary lang iyang banding. So, pasabot sa Van der Waals forces, kaya ang uh, electron is instantaneously na nag-move. So, sometimes there are points sa ilang mga pag-attract ka. Mo-attract ni buha ka ataw sa salusad. And another time na po is ma-break na po ni sila. So, ang Van der Waals forces is a weak force. So, easy to break. Meaning, ang element na na ay Van der Waals forces is low lang yung boiling point. So, next. 
pause, okay? So for example, and it's yeah, so my mga container, then there are, for example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 smokes inside the container. So ideal gas is the unsafe volume of the container is more shape volume of the yes, gas. Oh. However, the real gas, my volume and gas particles boom, we exert a high pressure sure. system. So um, 1 liter of gas particles of uh, real ideal gas, 0 0.25 liters of volume of the gas. So, so a scientist named Diederik Johannes van der Waals proposed the equation wherein connected to the idea of gas and of TV and RT. So, and RT. Then, the real gas, he proposed the van der Waals na ang pressure is dilinisiyama o. So, nag add siya constant, nag add siya constant nga a n squared over b squared wherein the constant is equal to the attraction of molecules. Because so, ideal gas, wala. Then sa volume naman, gi ad, gi minusan niya og number of moles times b, which b is constant. So ang volume is minus sa unsa jud ang volume sa gas within sa container equals nRT. So p stands for pressure, v for volume, r gas constant, t for temperature, n for number of moles. A, which is constant term, the correction for intermolecular forces, and B is a correction for the volume of the gas molecules. Sa real gas nga equation, nag-add of dua ka constants nga mo correct sa first nga equation, which is VB is equals to NRT. So, here is the table for the constants of A. Hello, what time is Many time? So, one is the table. Here's the table for the constant A for the different gases for helium. Then, B constants for the volume of the gas. Then, example for the equation of Van der Waals equation is this. For example, assuming that the gas is compressed so that it fills a container that has a volume only 200 liters according to the ideal gas equation, then the pressure would have to increase 112 atmospheric to compress 1 mole of CO2 and zero at 0 degrees Celsius to a volume of 0 0.200 liters. I-compare natin ang results sa ideal gas equation than sa Van der Waals equation. So, Sa so ideal gas equation, ipangita ang pressure equals nRT, so 1 mole times the gas constant times the temperature which is, which is 273 Kelvin divided by 200 liters. Ang pressure sa ideal gas is 112 atmospheric. While sa Van der Waals equation predicts that the pressure will only have to increase 52.6 atmospheric to achieve the same results. So, sa real gas equation sa Van der Waals, gi-add na na doon ang constant nga A, which is kaning 3.592 liters squared atmospheric per mole squared, then minus sa volume One. constant po nga 0.4267 liter mole. So, ang pressure nga nagnidra sa Van der Waals equations is 52.6 atmospheric pressure, which is the quite differential sa ideal gas equation. So, sa real gas, ang ideal gas, major limitations of ideal gas law is that it does not predict that a gas can be liquefied under appropriate condition. Meaning, sa real, sa ideal gas, gas na dyan siya. However, sa real gas, is pwede niyo maliquify ang saka gas because of the intermolecular attraction. So, the real gas can deviate from ideal gas behavior, especially at high temperatures and low temperatures. Because if at high, pre high pressures, gas molecules are closer together in space, as a result of this crowding, gas molecules experience greater attractive intermolecular forces. First, if we exert higher pressure to the molecules, gas molecules, then there is an increase of the kinetic energy of the molecules, which tend to attract to, their, to the other molecules. Then, another factor that can deviate ideal gas law, ideal behavior, is the real gas at low temperature. So, if, if a gas behaves at low temperature, the kinetic energy decreases. However, there's, there are times that mas mo, ma-overcome nila ang attractive, ang intermolecular, or 
process nga maka functional bonding pa rin na liquefy ang real gas. Describe the intermolecular attractions in a certain compound. So that's for you know having to comprehend. So it just basically means that molecular dissociation is the separation of molecules. That's just molecular dissociation. And in link with molecular dissociation is what we call Ryan molecular uh, dissociation energy. Energy. So dissociation energy. Well, dissociation energy from molecular Need dissociation is separation of molecules. Dissociation energy is the energy needed to separate to break uh, in a bond. So, yes, that's molecular uh, dissociation This is energy. energy. So, let's find out how can we solve for dissociation energy from a compound. So, yes, this is By the way, we have, you know, standard values for molecular dis dissociation energy in each band of diatomic molecules. So here's the, you know, average band dissociation energies. When we say average, it's the average dissociation energy. So let's try to compute or, you know, uh, apply this molecular, this dissociation energy with this problem. So the problem states that the change of enthalpy for the reaction of methane, CH3, which is gas, with chlorine is negative. 716 kilojoule according to the equation CH4 plus 2 fluorine, 2 fluorine gas yields to CM4 gas plus 2 hydrogen 2 hydrogen with 2 molecules gas so choose <laughs> that equation and the following band dissociation because we have standard band a dissociation energy in the table to find the band dissociation energy Plus two. two gives to CF4 plus two H2. So if we're going to, you know, break it down or expand it, we have four plus CH. We have four. Let's just make it smaller. We have four CH band. 
4CH band from here. We have 4CH band, CH4. We have 4CH band, which is equivalent to, let's look for the given dissociation energy here. So we have 410 dissociation energy. So it's, it is equivalent to 4 times 410. Next is for this one. F2. Here to four, we have two fluorine bands. A diatomic fluorine band, which is equivalent to two times, we're going to find out the four, dissociation energy. 450. That's 2x, 2 times x. Because we're going to find what is the body of dissociation energy for fluorine. Uh -huh. Next, we have the outcome. This is breaks, breaks. Why do I need this break? Because they are going to break the band to for another product or, you know, product, yes. So, we have four, you know, CF bond. It's equivalent to, we have here CF bond, which is 50, so four times 450. The next would be, here, the last one. We have two hydrogen, diatomic hydrogen, is equivalent to two times we have here the, the value, which is 436. So in computing all of this, so, yes, that's all that. Yes, that's, that's, that's correct. We're just going to add everything. So first, 410, 410, 410, 410. Ah, by the way, I forgot something. When we are going to have the product, nah. <laughs> Product. This is the one that breaks to form this one. When you form a product, the value of dissociation is negative. So we have negative 450 and negative 436. So 4 times 410 is equivalent to? 4 times 410 is equivalent to? 1,640. Well, this one is 2x. We're going to find out how much is the dissociation energy needed to break this one. Next it would be 4 times negative 450. Which is? Negative 1,800. Next would be 2 times negative, negative 436. Which is negative 372. Negative 872. So as we go back to our problem, uh, the changing enthalpy for the reaction of methane CH3 with chlorine is 7. It is negative 716. So we're going to add everything. So first, so we have 1,600, 1,640 plus. 2x plus negative 1,800 plus negative 872 is equivalent to, as I said in the problem, negative 716 kilojoule. Kilo, kilojoule. By the way, don't get the wrong idea. The, the unit for these things are kilo, kilojoule per mole. So add everything. We well, all right, do 1640 plus negative 1800 plus negative 872 is equal to negative 1032 plus 2x. We're not going to uh, include 2x yet because we're going to find out what's the value of that. Is equal to negative 76, that's 716 kilojoule. So, yes, you can use addition property of equality, which we are going to plus 1,332 plus 1,332 2x. Negative 716 kilojoule plus, by the way, the unit here is Kilojoule per mole. Kilojoule per mole. Plus 132 kilojoule <laughs> per mole. And is equal to how much is that? Negative 716 plus 1032 is equal to 316 kilojoule per mole. 2x divided both sides by 2. Divide both sides by 2. X is equal to 158. 158. 158 kilo per mole. So, as a general conclusion, in order to break this band, we need a dissociation energy of 150 kilo per mole to break this band and form this product. That's dissociation energy and molecular dissociation. A question.
question. Yes, question, sir. Why get a negative? Oh, Why ano negative si Yachi? If you're going to, you know, to form a product, here you are going to have positive molecular dissociation because this is the one who gives the energy or the one that the area where energy is applied. For example, if you have here positive ions, you're going to add something. For example, we have negative, no, no. we have negative carbon, no, 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 positive carbon, positive carbon and negative fluorine. So if you're going to bind this to this positive thing, this area will have positive sign, so this area will have negative sign. Why? Because this is the one who's going to add, give the energy or the ions or the, you know, the electrons, while well, this one is going to receive the electrons. That's negative and positive part. That's why it's negative here. Just get it. Where is it? Yeah, I, I just compare this one back. Break. If you're going, if here will be the one who give the energy, and here will be the one who receives energy. Yes, you get it. Monam Ajraya. So next, unlike ideal gases, real gases have or perform chemical reactions. It could be, it could involve in ions, atoms, compounds, and radicals. Molecules of a single element. Molecules of a single element. So what, for example, if you put pure hydrogen gas and pure oxygen gas in a room, they might be involved in a reaction to form water. However, it will be in very, very small amounts. If you were to add a spark, those gases would be involved in a violent chemical reaction that would result in a huge explosion. The huge explosion that might happen in that kind of chemical reaction signifies chemical reaction that can be found in ideal gases. That's just it. That's how simple it is. If there's a reaction between molecules, there's chemical reaction. And that can lead to real gases. Because real gases have a big Why? Because real gases have intermolecular forces. That have just how my lab reported. Yes. 